Game Day 97. Released on the PlayStation November 30th, 1996. The first installment of this game was released January of 1996, and it was Game Day 96 on the PlayStation. Not too often you have two games that are going back to back released in the same calendar year. How you tackle somebody with your legs is beyond me. They do not have that feature in this game, but they wanted to show that this game is going to be all about physicality. And Game Day 97 is one of the best games on the PlayStation sports related or not sports related and it was ahead of its time especially when you compare it to a game like madden 97 now unfortunately there was only a few things you can do in this game and this is a little bit of a drawback you could only do preseason, new season and go into your memory card file so a little bit lacking when it comes to a franchise but they did have fantasy draft and we'll get in that in a second when it comes to what you can do as far as selecting the team, they had 30 teams. No Cleveland Browns and no Houston Texans. The Browns were now the Baltimore Ravens for the first time ever. To select your team, and I wish I would have knew this when I was a kid, because like the first months of having this game, I only did Steelers versus Cowboys. It was quite annoying, but I had fun. Huge football fan, if you didn't know. So if you want to select your away team, you'll collect, you will select the L1 or L2 button, or I should say hit the L1, L2 button to go up and down. For the away team, you would hit the right R1 or the right R2 button, obviously on your controller or whatever it is you were trying to play with. The St. Louis Rams had the worst offense in the game. The New York Jets had the worst defense in the game. The Green Bay Packers had the highest passing rating team, and that had a lot to do with Brett Favre being 97 overall to match the 97 overall passing rating for the Packers. The Cowboys had an one rushing attack led by 97 overall Emmitt Smith, and their rushing attack was 89 overall, and the second best run running back was the Detroit Lions, Barry Sanders. Speaking of Detroit Lions, their catching is number one at 92. They had Herman Moore. They also had Barryan, and they had a bunch of guys that were highly overall. Like, their receiving core is better than the Packers, the Niners, and the Vikings, believe it or not, even the Cowboys. The best blocking team in this game is those Pittsburgh Steelers at 88 overall. Their running back was Jerome Bettis, so I'm pretty sure that he liked that rating, playing with himself in this game, I suppose. So here's what you can do in the regular season. You can do team roster, create a player. You could also do a fantasy draft, and right here, we are selecting as the Cowboys. We could take John Elway, Troy Aikman, Dan, uh, Dan Marino, Steve Young, running backs, Terrell Davis was available, Charles Haley, Junior Sales available, Troy, Vin Troy Vincent is available as well. If you want to check your roster out, you can go to preseason or new season. You just select the team, and there you can go and check out the roster. You can check running backs, quarterbacks, receivers, O-line, D-line, linebackers, your special teams, your defensive backs, all right there for you. Warren Moon, 82 overall. You can see some of the quarterbacks right there. The Saints, they never really had a quarterback in the 90s, so that's apparent right there. Gus Farratt is the starting quarterback for the Redskins. And then you see Vinny Tessaverde for those Ex Cleveland Browns, now new Baltimore Ravens. Speaking of the Ravens, Ray Lewis is 74 overall. Welcome, Welcome to, today's to today's game, game. Between, between the, the San, Francisco San Francisco 49ers, 49ers and the, the Oakland, Oakland Raiders. Raiders. San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers, 49ers. Kickoff, kickoff or receive. Or receive. The 49ers, the 49ers will, receive will receive the kick. kick. The, Raiders the Raiders will defend, will defend the, the South, South goal. goal. So that is your PA announcer who also is your tutorial guy and who is also your play-by-play uh, -play announcer as well. They did not have an actual team for this game. So again, it was the PA announcer to say who got the first down, who made the catch, who scored a touchdown, and so on and so forth. When it comes to the packages, they did have packages and they had automatic motion. Right there in the Stokes, you see the little dotted line going across the plate? It was an automatic motion. You did not control it. If it's in the play, the guy will automatically go in motion. They also have packages where you see Lavelle is the starting correct for the Niners, but Kirby will be in the slot for this formation, and Kirby is their running back, not like their starting running back or fullback. Verdell is their fullback, and he will be in this formation, not Lavelle, and Kirby will be in the slot. Now, this is unique to the Niners. They did not have different playbooks, but they did have different packages, and you can see the cheerleaders and the chain gang moving up and down the field, all right? So for the Cowboys, it wasn't that way. Emmitt Smith would be in every formation, but for the Niners, you had Lavelle in some formation as a running back, Kirby sometimes as a running back, and then Verdell as their fullback that would play running back from time to time. Deion Sanders is in this game, obviously, but as a corner, but in this game, he's automatically put in at receiver. Options. 
for the sunshine, you got rain, you got snow as far as weather is concerned, you got nighttime, you got very windy conditions, so on and so forth. This is the menu right before you jump into the game. Now, this is how the snow looks in the game. It's 1996. This is snow. It doesn't look horrible, but also doesn't look great. You can see that around the, the, the Steelers symbol in the middle of the field, it was kind of clear. And then on the outside, you had the snow all over the field. Right here, you can see the rain coming down for the Chicago Bears game. And around the Chicago Bears logo, you can see some dirt, some mud right there. And here, this is a regular season game, Cowboys versus the Bears. It's clear, and there's nothing around the, uh, the Bears symbol that would suggest that the field is getting beat up due to weather. This is a nighttime game. It looked like there was two different colors out there, but I think the color outside of the blackness of the stadium or of the sky was the Rocky Mountains. So I did not think that there was a glitch. I do think that that was just what it was. Stiff arm right there by Jerome Bettis. The stiff arms were vicious. It was like punching somebody. Big hit by Atwater leads to a diving interception. Yes, the hits in this game were absolutely ridiculous. The ball is loose. They die for it. And again, this game was a little bit ahead of its time. Why j Rice is wearing 83, I don't know. But that's how you jam somebody. Just like that. And then j Rice is like throwing punches back at Terry McDaniel. It is what it is. You can also run into the chain gang. And this, again, 1996, you can run into the chain gang. Now, one thing that was a little bit of an issue for me, and maybe I'm just used to having a yellow line to let me know what a first down marker is, it was kind of hard to gauge how many yards I was gaining per play. Like, this is a big run. I couldn't tell you how many yards it was, but it was a big run. When it comes to the touchdown celebrations, Miller makes the catch right there, gets it to the end zone, he spikes it, puts his hands up, touchdown. Terrell Davis scores, spikes it, puts his hands up, touchdown. Then Miller, he's going to score another touchdown, and you will guess it. You spike the ball, you put your hands up, it's a touchdown. There you go. You could customize your camera, which I thought was a cool feature. As you see right there, you can zoom in a little bit more. You could go to the little angle. You could then customize it totally. You can zoom in. You could zoom out. You could angle it. You could look from the defense perspective. And then you just set it and you could play like this. Do I recommend this? Absolutely not because it's going to be hard to see who's open. So we're just going to throw it to Irvin and he can't make the catch right there. Turnover on downs. This is the halftime show. Okay, you got your stats right there. And then the cheerleaders are going to go up and down the field. They're going to do a little bit of a dance, a little bit of a boogie, a little bit of, hey, how you doing? And that is basically what it is for the halftime report. You could also go through different stats. You can see Troy Aikman's stats, 3 of 5 for 60, or completing 60% of his passes for 7 yards. And the Smith, 3 carries for 18 yards. I was playing on 2 minute quarters to make sure I can get this video out in a timely fashion. Okay, don't judge my numbers. Sanders with a catch of 24, Irvin with a catch of 28 yards. Troy Aikman absolutely having a day. Dion with the most tackles, with 2. And they say Dion don't tackle. Dion has always tackled. Don't let the haters fool you. So right here we got Emma Smith, and we're going to go right up the gut. And Emma Smith is going to pick up a decent game but he's going to get hurt right here and you can see him kind of flop at the end of the play he kind of gets up goes back down i think that indicates that he is hurt and he was hurt and that sucks for him he's going to be out with a head injury believe it or not so bring in williams and again with that one formation williams did not see the field it's all about emma smith with the niners they use different backs for different situations the bears call a timeout the game is tied at seven they call a timeout because they know they're gonna need the ball back they kind of allow us to score maybe maybe not and now they have a chance to try to score right here haley is lined up on the left side they automatically moved him to the right side. I think it's because the tight end was on the left side. They want him just to be one-on-one -on -one with the tackle. And they automatically switched him over there. I promise you. That's what it was. I did not manually switch that. They just did it on their own. So last play, Kramer throws it. That pass going to be caught. But turnover on downs. No time left on the clock. And that is your game. We win 14-7. to And this was a regular season game. You could not simulate. You could not simulate. I wanted to show the playoffs. I wanted to show the Super Bowl animations. But you could not simulate. And because I'm recording this on the PlayStation 2... I could not save. I would have to get the original PlayStation, which I do have, but I do not have any memory cards for it, so I wouldn't be able to save it either. But if you want to do this, you could probably emulate it as well. But when it came to saving, I could not save it because I'm using a PS2, and this is an original PlayStation game. So our next game will be versus the Giants. September 8th, 1996. Kind of like that feature. But that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Kind of a nice go back memory lane type video. I liked it. Hope you guys did too. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hi, sauce.